Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back of his teardown lab. You can see all this clutter here, and that's because I've been making more of these Odroid hats. And if you don't remember, they're basically a plug in digital to analog converter. I think they're for a second. Digital to analog converter that uh, converts the digital sound on one of these into something you can hear with your ears or here on your pot noodle speakers, if that's what you've got. So on the screen, you can see there's some, oh, I don't know if you can see that, there's some bubble bubble playing. And if I plug that into the speakers, and I'll turn them on, these are my pot noodle, free pot noodle speakers. And that's basically what you get. Now, um, I had a, a unit returned to me, so um, I thought it'd be interesting to do a test to see how we'd go through testing a unit uh, that's been returned. Because I, I, you know, I don't like returns, because I feel that um, I tested stuff when, when they're going out, but that doesn't mean there's not something wrong with it. So here's the box back from Germany. So I'm just gonna open that up there very carefully. I don't wanna slice myself. Uh, <laughs> Because it has happened and I have the scars to prove it. So there is the Odroid hat. No foam on the pins though. They do go out with a bit of foam, but that's fine. They're hardy, a hardy thing. And sometimes when you get things like that, so you don't get mixed up, get your pen and just put something on there. Like I'm going to put here, if you see there, I'm going to put an X marks the spot. So that's the one that I've taken out because all of a sudden these things all look very similar and if you've got a massive pile of them before you know it you're lost so this one has exhibiting a fault that when you plug it in and turn it on it was going to battery fail mode yeah doesn't do it of course it wouldn't do it on mine <laughs> no fault <laughs> uh, yeah now this could be an issue with the Odroid actually because I did some experiments and trying to get to the bottom of these sorts of things. So that's it working clearly. And you can see there, if you look on the back, you'll see the little X there, one that came out of the box from Germany. So I'm gonna leave that there. Now the reason I think there's an issue because I think there could be uh, an issue with inrush current with these and it's hard to, try to describe what that means so i'll try to put it into the state that does it and if i recall it's and i'm guessing here i think this is the 3v3 let's see no it depends on the value of course of the resistors you're using let's have a look at the hat if i put a hat in i'm going to use my non uh, you know the one which doesn't have the x on if you see at the top, there's a 3v3 line and then there's a ground line. So what I'm gonna do is I need to experiment by putting a bit of a load on that 3v3 line. And so we've got a, a diode here. Um, basically what I was doing before, I was playing with putting loads on that. And because the SD card is running off that bus, it does seem if there is a certain amount of load there, you'll get an issue with the SD card. Interesting enough, look at the LED, it did flicker there briefly. And sometimes what I noticed was, you can use the LED almost as an access light, because if you have the LED on, eh, yeah, I'm not getting anything on that one. Let's see what happens if you totally short the 3v3 out. But I'll have to experiment with that. I certainly got some loads here, and I was putting them on ever increasing, let's see. Okay, so if you short out 3v3, it's totally dead. You don't want to do that. And leave that there. Let's have a look. See, what have we got here that would represent a nice load? Here we go. We've got a buzzer. I don't know what a buzzer might do. In fact, if we want to, I'm going to turn on the solder line so we can actually solder that on to the uh, pin headers here, as if you were experimenting. So I hope you've had a good day, all of you, anyway. I've had a very busy day. It's quite late now. It's nearly 8 p.m. Just got back from work at 8 p.m. 8 p. in the M. Which is not quite normal, I have to admit. Not, not. I like to get home a little bit early so I can spend time with the old sproglets. I'm just going to check this close to make sure I get the right pin. This one here is the right pin. And I'm gonna solder our positive wire to that. Ooh, pardon me, this is the pepperami. They're a bit of an animal. 
And then there's a pin here that says ground. And I, I can't see um, see where it goes. I'm actually soldering to the pin headers rather than the pins themselves. And you're going, why are you doing that? The reason I'm doing that is because I keep running out of Odroid units. And uh, there's always the possibility that someone might want to buy this one off me. So I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to totally ruin it. How about that then? I don't want to totally ruin it. Oh, so ground is the very end pin, actually, if you're using the pin from the Odroid itself. So I'm just going to do that. Got my new tip. Boom. Right, I'm going to try this out. Maybe it will do something. Oh. I mean, that's quite a lot of load. How annoying is this? Menu. Ah. Okay, let's turn that off. Very weird, isn't it? So that was really robust even with that amount of load, wasn't it? So here's another little test I'd quite like to try. So if we get the Odroid, the other Odroid, this is the one with the X on it, and I'll put that on. I wonder if you can piggyback them. What would happen if we try to run two simultaneously? So let's put it into Bubble Bubble or something again. Start. Come on, bubble, 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 Sega. Start button. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get started so we get some music. Oh, it does. Ah, oh, that's Insano Two. Oh, droids. Ha ha ha! Woohoo! Two on the go. I like that in stereo actually it's not even in stereo it's like four channels if you do it that way it's hard to get the old pins aligned though yeah oh one more go it's hard to get it it's hard to get enough pins to touch at the same time though Woohoo! right Anyway, um, I don't know. I don't know now about these tests. I def I, I was basically using a load. Um, where what? You know, some, uh, let's try one last thing. Something like this, and um, basically messing with it. Maybe that's the way to do it. Is to sort of work with a, a variable resistor. So we'll put in our original unit without the X, and I'm going to try to hook this onto one of these pins, which is one part of our variable resistor. Uh -huh. and it's going to be really painful and then we're just going to keep cranking it in fact if you're going to do it that way you might as well just hook it onto the actual pins here sorry it's getting a bit rambly this video isn't it it's all getting a bit rambly indeed but I make no apologies this is me do 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 do. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. I mean, you wanted to know what like, a debugging thing would look like. I mean, this isn't structured debugging, by the way. It's mainly me just experimenting and messing around. But I got to give it a sidetrack with that whole double Odroid action there. go we've got that up let's see if that pokes in like that boom it does that's given me a bit of a gap now so if you're doing this at home of course you'll be able to experiment on things like that when you're doing projects I mean of course I would probably recommend you just solder straight on though you don't have to do this kind of nasty might fall off I mean these test probe things are always doing that do you see that how that one just lashed off test probes no worse one. If you're getting them, by the way, get the ones with a little hook. Ah! <sighs> can you feel the? Fr can you feel the frustration? Hang on, screw it. <clears throat> yeah. Let's 
can modify this one. I'm surprised if you have you turned off yet? Have you gone away? I'm not surprised if you have. Okay, get some wire. Do 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 do. So I'm going to do this once and for all. That's it. Then I'm done. I'm never going to mess with the Odroid stuff like this again. All I wanted to know is that the hat works. If the hat fits, then great. I'd have liked to know why it didn't work, but I can't debug someone else's unit from afar. Uh, okay, there we go. Right, now we've got some dangerous stuff to do. So if we turn this on, I'm going to turn off these lights. So there we go. So we've got the. We're just changing the value of the resistor. Oops, <laughs> too much. So I'm just adjusting it teeny weeny bit at a time. Hmm. Blown up Odroid, I think. I've blown up my Odroid! Curses! No! That's going to be fun. Next video, how to fix your blown up Odroid by taking <laughs> when you took out the 3v3 line. No! No! Oh well. There you go. In conclusion, buy yourself an Odroid hat if you want one. There's not many left. In fact, they're constantly selling out and I'll have to make more. Two, don't experiment on the actual Odroid. If you start up your Odroid, by the way, and you get a little SD card light, um, be warned. Try playing with your battery charge or something. As ever, thanks for watching. Phew hoo hoo! Right, took the lid off. It's weird, the uh, battery contact went like super high resistance, but I've popped that in, Pop my card back in. Um, We've got the DAC, don't know which one it is. It's the one with the X on. And uh, yeah, let's turn that on. Screen is coming on now. Weird, isn't that, that was weird. Very weird. So I don't know, I think if, you're, um, if you've got one of these, you've got some weird issues, maybe, um, maybe take it apart and have a check of the old battery contacts and give them a little wiggle. I mean, that was so weird. I, I just probed there with the multimeter on the, you know, the Odroid side of the battery contact right there and it was just reading nothing. So uh, yeah, I don't know why that went so like high resistance, but good, I'm glad it bloody works. I've got more Odroid cats to build and I need something to test it. There we go, phew, thank gosh for that. Speak to you later.